What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, another electronics video for you. Today, we are talking about Mega 360. I got some tips and some tricks, some settings to help you guys next time you're out on the water. Let's go. One of our recent videos, someone commented, uh, they made some, uh, had some questions about the Mega 360 and why we haven't done a video on it. And uh, honestly, it was just an oversight. It is an amazing tool. I use it all the time. Anytime I'm fishing, I, I typically have it on, uh, unless I'm like frog fishing up in, in shallow water on grass. But uh, even then, I'm using it to find the grass lines. Uh, so today's video, it's gonna be kind of a entry level video for you, just talking about the features, and then I'm gonna give you some of my settings and some tips how to dial them in and really get the best picture. Um, but for those of you guys that don't know, what is Mega 360? Let me, uh, let me pull it up real quick. So most of you guys have heard of side imaging, down imaging, 360 imaging is this guy right here. That's gonna spin under the water and it's gonna take sonar, it's gonna ping sonar out and back, just like sign imaging, just like your 2D sonar, but it rotates 360 degrees so you can see what's going on all around the boat. It's an amazing tool. Uh, yes, with today's advancements in uh, you know mega live forward facing sonar, there is some really cool additions to to uh, today's electronics, sonar fishing, uh, but I believe that you have to have both. I think you need to have a forward facing sonar if you can get it. And more importantly to me, I like the Mega 360 because it helps me find structure. So right now I got the Raptors down. I'm out on a point. I'm gonna show you guys real quickly what we're looking at. We got a point out here. Now, if I was just fishing this, I would have idled it with the side imaging. I would have left some waypoints, but uh, when I spun around and dropped the trolling motor, you kind of have to get to, uh, get your bearings right. You have to set up, cast to your waypoints. With the Mega 360, I can see live, real time. There's a rock pile right there. Look at that stump right out there. I have my rage ring set on, so so turned on, so I know that that stump is 40 feet out here about one o'clock. So now I can see what's out in front of me. I can see what's off to the side. I can see when fish are swimming through around the boat. Uh, one of the first times I ever played around with the 360, real quick story, and I'll show you the importance. Uh, hopefully you'll, you'll grasp by this story. I was fishing on Clear Lake in Northern California and I was throwing an A-rig. I was dock fishing, I was fishing along uh, a shoreline with a lot of docks. Had my Mega 360 on. Obviously I can see where the pilings are. I know where they're at. I can see them with my eyes. I'm casting to them. But off on about between 10 and 11 o'clock, I saw five fish come into the top of my screen. Right over here. And I'm looking down on my unit and I watch them swim towards my boat, right along it, and right past it. I took that Alabama rig, I fired back there, four casts in a row, I caught four of the five fish. Just amazing uh, tool in the belt, right, as fishermen. Now, I understand this, this video isn't for everybody. You know, I, I started with a little five inch black and white screen. That was the first screen that came on my tracker when I got it. So, uh, you know, moving up in electronics, uh, it's totally up to you. But if you have the budget and you are thinking about it, hopefully this video convinces you that you need it because it is an amazing tool. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna set up a tripod right here, kind of angle the camera down towards the screen so I can show you some of the settings, some of the uh, adjustments that I make to get the best picture and kind of show you what we're looking at. All right guys, hopefully this is a good enough uh, view for you. It's hard always to shoot these types of videos with the uh, reflection in the screen. But uh, what you're looking at, you're looking at um, my Mega 360 unit. I have it set to 
Uh, typically when I'm fishing, I have it set to 2D sonar and I have my Mega over here. Now, uh, I, I do want to explain something. It is very important, depending on the type of fishing you're doing, how to adjust your 360. Now, like I said, I primarily use mine for looking for structure. So as I'm burning down the bank, maybe I'm throwing a jerk bait or a top water, something like that. I'm looking for, I don't need a real crisp view. I'm just looking for something like this off, you know, the port side of my boat or the starboard side of my boat out offshore that I might miss if I was just looking at the shoreline and just fishing. So I am primarily looking uh, for structure, rock piles, laydowns, stumps, that sort of thing. Now, uh, depending on the type of fishing you're doing, maybe you're doing some offshore fishing, maybe you're fishing a rock pile or something like that, uh, you're gonna adjust your settings accordingly and I'm gonna cover both. So go ahead, let me go ahead and, and uh, just zoom in here for you. So we have our 360 unit. We got, well, 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock, right? Now, the number one misconception on 360 imaging is that your boat icon is to scale. Now, what I mean by that, you know, side imaging, if you guys are familiar with that, you know that the transducer is coming off of the back of the boat and everything is being recorded behind the transducer as you move forward. You need to be moving two to five miles an hour to have a clear picture. 360, the slower you are, or if you're spot locked or talon down, raptor down, you know, power pull down, whatever it may be, anchored down, you're gonna get the clearest picture because you're not having as much movement. With that transducer spinning 360 degrees, uh, you, the more stationary you are, the better picture you get. So if I am burning down the bank, just throwing top water, I almost always turn my ping speed up to four or five. Now what that's gonna do, that's gonna, that's gonna let that transducer spin quicker and I'm gonna have more uh, precise, more real time uh, visual of what is ahead of me. But you're gonna see that it's gonna kind of blur out the picture. If you're fishing offshore and you are just fishing for, uh, say you're fishing shell beds or stump fields or a hard spot, something like that, that's when you're gonna turn your speed down to one or two. The slower that that transducer is spinning, the more clear of a picture you're gonna get. So as this is slowing down, you can see how much slower it gets. Um, like I said, the, the more stationary you are, the better picture you're gonna get. I mean, look how clear this rock pile is out here off this point is coming up. So this is old, this is, Everything right now is new. Everything over here is old. You can see it's kind of swiping. Stump here, stump there, rock pile there, bait fish out there. Got a stump over here, stump over here, and a stump over here. Now, as you can see, if you're an offshore fisherman, you can see how easily this lines up your casts. Now you can see just between 11 and 12, you have the edge of the rock pile. You got that, look at that stump, look how clear that stump is. Now fish, just like on side imaging, um, they're gonna show up as, as white lines or white blobs, reading off their air bladder. But um, what I wanted to explain, kind of went off on a little tangent there, is this guy right here, your boat icon. Now I have my range set to 80 feet. I have my range rings on, so 20, 40, 60, 80 feet out. This right here is not the back of your boat. So if you were trying to cast to this stump right here, you would think you'd have to throw at like a 45 degree angle off of the port side of the boat, off the back. That is not true. This right here, this icon, is the front of the boat where the trolling motor is. Everything up in front is true. Everything behind has to be brought back. Uh, the the distance of your overall boat. Hopefully that makes sense. So my boat's 21 foot boat, right back here where my raptors are, ta or ra raptors are down, that is gonna be the rear of my boat. So if I was fishing off the back of my boat, I would need to cast straight out about 35 feet to that stump right there. That is the number one thing that people uh, misalign on their 360 imaging. 
Now the other thing too is I have uh, my, my range set to 80. I can go ahead and turn that down. Let's turn that down to, let's see, let's turn it down to 60. It's gonna zoom in a little bit. I can zoom out. I like to usually, I have my range set to 60, whatever it may be, 80, 100, and I'll click zoom in once. So it just it's two times zoom, get a little better picture of what's going on. You can see there are a few fish out here on the rock pile, out on that point. Look at that stump right there. Just like side imaging, guys, you can learn so much from the shadows of what you're uh, getting the readout on. Harder readouts are gonna be brighter, softer readouts are gonna be darker. So you can see right here, rock versus more mud over here. Look at the top of that stump. Um, again, it's a lot like the side imaging. Just know that the more stationary, the crisper, clearer picture you're gonna get. And uh, the transducer is shooting 360 degrees around. Now, if you are just burning the bank, looking ahead, you can always change the uh, the area that the that the transducer sweeps. Okay, so you can do that. I typically don't like that. It, it's a fairly narrow beam. I like to do full 360, just because, like I said earlier, being able to see those fish come in and out of the screen. It's, it's live. Uh, you can really learn to dial this thing in, cast to your fish, lead them, and catch them. Okay, now that we got that reset, typically when I'm fishing, this is the view I have. I have my 2D sonar, and I have my 360, just so I have depth, and then I have my 360. If I want to place a waypoint, I can either just touch over here or, or slide over, push and hold, waypoint this. I could name it, stump, save, change the icon, color, whatever I want to do, and save it. Okay, now if I want to use my map, now I have that waypoint on my map. So it works just like side imaging, just like down imaging, you can waypoint off of it. Really, really cool feature. But again, 360 is an amazing tool. Um, I can't wait. I, know, I, I, I saw that they came out now with their Mega Live. Yeah, we're all good, thank you. <laughs> Boat stopping to see if we're all right. Uh, that uh, Hummingbird came out with their Mega Live. I'm really excited. Hopefully I can get get one of those units to try out, maybe a sample unit or something to see because I can't wait to be able to use the 360 side by side with uh, some kind of forward facing sonar to really dial in. You know, that live, uh, that real time transducer stuff is amazing. You can see fish reacting to your lures and, and such. But uh, like I said, the 360 for me has been a, a, it's totally up to my offshore fishing game and it's caught me a ton more fish when I'm just reaction fishing uh, along the bank because not only am I seeing with my own eyes what the shore is showing me, I can look off to the side of the boat, out past the boat and seeing what I'm missing and catching fish off of that key structure. All right guys, hopefully that uh, showed out for you. Uh, you know, it's always tough trying to film uh, screens these days with how reflective and how crisp they are but uh, 360 mega 360 has been such an eye-opener for me I've had it now I've had 360 for for several years but mega 360 has been amazing you know it's so clear you know incorporating that uh, the uh, the chirp imaging the mega imaging getting that real clear picture it has allowed me to catch more fish when I'm fishing the shore, just running and gunning along the bank, you know, it's allowed me to see structure that I would have missed if I wasn't looking down at my graph. You know, if I'm just looking at the shoreline, I'm fishing, I'm making my cast with my frog or my top water, my jerk bait, whatever it may be. But as I'm fishing, looking down, as that thing's spinning down there and sending that transducer pings around the boat, 
now I'm seeing laydowns out out off the starboard side, or I'm seeing uh, fish swimming off the, the other side of the boat. Uh, it just allows you to see what's going on around you in real time. Now it's not like the forward-facing sonar where it's just forward and you steer it with your with your pedal. I can't wait to, like I said, run both of them. But um, if you're an offshore fisherman, hopefully that example proved its value in gold. You know, I'm sitting here looking at this point. I now know there's a rock pile out here. I can tell when fish are coming in and out off of it. I know that about 40 feet over here off my one o'clock, there's a stump. I know there's a stump over here. I know there's two stumps behind me and I know there's a stump right out here. So now I can sit here and I can make those casts the exact cast that I need to make to put more fish in the boat. Again, just, just having it on, um, I have it on almost all the time. You know, for me, I, I am a true believer in electronics. I hate going to a fishery and just fishing uh, blind. If I had my way, I would be behind the console, I'd idle around, use my side imaging, waypoint stuff, find the breaks, find the key pieces of structure. That way I could find the spot on spot uh, casts, then once I feel like I get an idea of how the area lays out, that's when I make my first cast. I hate just going there blind and just start fan casting, uh, thinking I know what's going on because really the whole time I'm thinking, I'm wishing that I would have really dialed this area in before I broke it down. Um, that is an amazing tool. As I'm fishing, like I said, I can see what's going on all around me. I have made several casts of fish that were swimming by me and caught them. It is really, really cool. Uh, down in the video description, I will link um, I'll link the product, obviously, but I'll also write out some of the settings. I didn't really talk about it much, but I will tell you, uh, typically I run my sensitivity on 12. I turn it up to 12 from 10 to 12, and my contrast anywhere from um, uh, middle is 10. I typically run at 12 to 14, depending on water clarity and, uh, and depth. But guys, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, I don't know why we haven't done a video on this. I guess it's just kind of slipped our, our minds, but um, if you have the budget, you know, we always preach this, don't go in debt over fishing gear, right? If you have the budget, Mega 360 is a, a must have, I believe. And like I said, I can't wait to try one of the forward facing sonars and kind of fish those side by side. That way I can find that stump or that rock pile out here then point that, tr that transducer right there and watch those fish interact uh, with my bait in real time. Fishing technology, you guys, it's, it's not going away. I know it's a controversial topic to some, but uh, you either learn how to use it or you get left behind. And uh, like I said, I, I love learning it. it uh, it's very easy to use, plug and, plug and, plug, plug and play. Uh, if you ever get lost, just reset to your factory settings and that will give you a somewhat clear picture. Really easy to use, but those settings that I gave you, um, those will help out too. Remember, your boat icon on there is not to scale. So whatever length of your boat is, you have to make that adjustment on looking at your screen where the, where the back of your, the, you know, the, the back of your boat is sitting and to make your casts. If you're fishing the bank and you're moving, turn your ping speed up to four or five. If you're stationary, fishing offshore, turn it down to two or one. The slower, the better will give you that better picture. Guys, if you have any questions, like I said, please leave them down below in the comment section. I will try to get to those as soon as possible. Uh, if you guys learned something from this video, you guys like electronics or you like electronics uh, videos, uh, give us a like. Leave us a comment. Remember to subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys. Have a good one.